what is heartstorming to you? When we as the leadership team come together and say, all right, it's time for a heart storm. What does that mean to you? Yeah, to me, it means, well, first and foremost, for me, it's almost an energy. That's, that's really, there's, there's a, an, an energy around it that I connect with, that I identify. And it's almost one of those things that even though, even before we even said it, knew what it was, like once we did say it, I actually knew what it was. It took time to effectively communicate what it was. And I'm probably still even a little bit unsure to some degree. Um, but for me, what it, what it specifically means to me, uh, as I verbalize it, it's, it, it's much like getting in the zone for like we do in sports, but for business. And what it does is it gets me out of my head where I get stuck in these loops and too logical and, uh, and oftentimes when I'm too logical, I just get in my own way. So heart storming, it's, it feels more expansive. And what also for me is like, it kind of reminds me of what we talk about, the difference between human consciousness and universal consciousness. So human consciousness, uh, just for kind of a, a quick context is, is limited to, uh, uh, just the human experience from kind of almost like brain to brain, if you will. We call it collective consciousness here. It's kind of the same reason why um, scientists have really explored this in many different ways, showing oh, when some person is working on something and another person or group of people halfway around the world are working on something and it's the same thing at the same time, it's never been done. And, you know, why is that? That's a weird phenomenon. Or like once the person, you know, beat the five minute mile or something, I think it was five minute or four minute, whatever it was, it was like, hey, it hadn't been recorded. And then all of a sudden, like, boom, it just started happening like uh, relatively quite a bit. And so there's this connection that we have, you know, through collective consciousness, through the brain, uh, because it's a physical standpoint in uh, a physical manifestation in this physical realm. But when we talk about universal consciousness, that's beyond the human experience. That's beyond this earth plane experience. That's when we have these soul level insights, these, these things that come forward through our hearts into our brain and then through our thoughts and then through our conversation and out into the world through doing and manifestation uh, that are like evolutionary in terms of, okay, this is going to jump us to the next level. Yeah. And so that's heart-based. Because our heart is is expansive and universal, and our brain is limited to the human experience. And so, when and the reason why I'm kind of bringing this whole context together is that's kind of what helps when we heart storm versus brainstorm. Brainstorm to me is like kind of doing what's already been done, which isn't a bad thing, right? We can learn from what's been done. We can be more efficient. We can be more connected. But when we want to do something that hasn't been done before, that's where we need that next level insight from beyond here. And so heart storming helps support that. That's a great explanation as far, you know, just to sit with it and have that understanding. Because when I think of the creative process, it goes from that intuitive insight, right? Where something is just not fully formed, but you have this sense that something is possible. And then you bring it into that formation of it, right? So there isn't a solid thought of it yet, right? So you have to have the feel of it first. And that's where heart storming comes into play because it hasn't really been formulated. You have that feel of the creation first and that willingness to be vulnerable and say, I don't know what it is yet, but this is the feel of it. Mm -hmm. And to me, what you're talking about with the quantum entanglement aspect of the human consciousness, thoughts link us together, right? From that human state of consciousness. So the moment it's been done, then we know what's possible. So we've collapsed it from that realm of potentiality into actuality, and we know that it's possible. 